just back from a run mostly ran truggy it was good um, 723 was a little finicky on a hot day um, I had to get a bunch of help to get a tune on it but it ran good had the buggy as a backup didn't run it this was just in our uh, our club track in Bob's backyard got an e-buggy it's pretty much done today I just put in the battery compartments and I'm waiting on a a, a receiver a, uh, another Noble 4 Fly Sky receiver to throw in there I got my RTR um, MP9 buggy here. I'm gonna get it back going again. These things are on back order. I'm gonna see if I can go through my bag of uh, wheel carrier stuff and figure something out there and get this bad boy back in commish. I'd like to practice jumping with this thing right here at home. So, but story goes like this. Here we have an RC10. Yep, pretty much the first race kit ever, you know. I have an RC10 in my possession. All right, fair enough. I took it out um, and tried to uh, charge the battery a little bit. It was just doing some weird stuff. The motor was getting really hot. There's your radio. And so, um, I was at a stop doing a delivery and um was making a um still am doing a bad track in my backyard and i deliver um down lapine oregon uh, just a lot of uh it's a little town in the woods in the mountains you know so there's little pieces of logs and stuff everywhere and i was um just collecting logs and throwing them in the back of my ups truck and I rolled up on a place and I asked him if I could have have a log that looked good. I'm using logs to make a berm and fill it with dirt, which I haven't done yet, but I filled the logs in. So I'll go and uh, show that right now. There's a jump I can practice with here at home. Here's my log berm. I'd like to fill this in with dirt and just, you know, um, be able to shred back here. Once the ground freezes over, I think my backyard track is going to be a lot of fun. It might even be just like more of a wintertime thing. Um, so, all right, there's the, there's the log berm. So I was just on a spree of collecting logs for the log berm. And I'm super friendly with my people and they're all cool and... So I asked this dude, Dave, you know, Dave, can I have one of those logs over there for my log for my, um, he's like, yeah, I'm like, I'm building jumps for RC cars. He's like, oh, okay. So he hooks me with the log and then I come back like a couple days later, I go there all the time. And he's like, I got an old, I got an old car. I got an old, uh, an old RC car. And I don't know if he said RC10. I think I might have said it. I just knew he had an old race kit, and I I I just knew he had an RC10. I knew it. I knew he had it. He's like, let me dig it out and get it to you. I'm like, yeah. And sure as shit, you know, I come back a few days later. Dave's gone, but his wife gives me an RC10 <laughs> on route. I couldn't believe it so um it works it just some of the um i mean look at this thing what a what a build i mean you had to be a real um, electronics expert to build one of these things look at all that soldering you have to do to do one of these i mean a little servo there a little brushed motor so I mean, it's all here, but I tried messing with it and I don't know. I, I couldn't really get it to, um, 
really work that good. Maybe, I don't, I don't know. So I'm friends with another, my, one of my customers who wants to hang out at Christmas Valley with me, Linda. And, and, um, she's, she's, she said her brothers used to, to, um, fly planes and stuff. And she's been around this stuff. And I told Linda, I'd give her the RC 10 if she wants to run down there. You know, if I take her down there to camp and stuff, She's got other stuff, an e-bike and stuff to ride with, but um, I have all my slash stuff down there now, and I ran the slash down there. It was fun. I put some eight scale buggy tires on the slash. It was fun as shit. So that's like kind of my Christmas Valley car. Um, so I'm gonna get this RC10 to her and just see what she can do with it. You know, she has the time. She might be able to get it going good. I just don't have the time and that's what I told her so I'm happy to give it to her someone gave it to me I'll give it to her and um, that's it so I mean it's it's a cool kit and um, but I'm I'm happy to pass it along to someone else if it means they have something to run I got plenty of stuff to run so um, an RC 10 comes in and I'm just gonna box it up and take it with me on route tomorrow and just give it to Linda and maybe she can take a look at some of the electrics and, and get her going and have some fun later on y'all.